Hello everybody, this is Brian Garvin. I spent the last day getting a video prepared for you, writing the outline um, to a coin called BitTensor and the ticker is TAO. And if you just give me, um, this is gonna be one of my longer videos, but if you, if you just give me some of your time, I think you're gonna learn a ton about this token and a lot you probably don't already know. And it'll help you make an investment decision whether you think it's worth it to buy in this token or not. Um, first, I'm going to start with the legal disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor and I do not give financial advice. This video is for educational entertainment purposes only. Um, all of us, including myself, um, are responsible for our own investment decisions. Now that being out of the way, let's have fun and talk about this token. Um, this video is going to be all about uh, BitTensor, uh, ticker symbol TAO, and why I think it's such a great project. Um, for the 2024 bull run. This is one of my top six coins. Um, in fact, it's I, I only tell you about coins that I have skin in the game. Um, I'm gonna go into that towards the end of this video. Uh, this is a very technical project, so I'm gonna do the best to break it down is, is the best I can so you understand it as an investor. Um, the BitTensor overview, okay, Right now, because of the current Israeli conflict with Iran, Bitcoin and alts are on a dip. So at the time of this video, the price of BitTensor is about $486 um, per coin, and the market cap is about $3.2 billion. Uh, the daily volume is about $94 million. So there's a lot of people already involved in this project. Um, it's not a low-cap coin by any means. It's, it's relatively high-cap coin. Um, right now, there's about 6.6 .6 million Tau in circulation, and just like Bitcoin, the max supply of Tau is 21 million. Okay, so, so Bit, BitTensor can legitimately do 100x from where it is now, or have a market cap of 3.4 trillion. Right now, it's uh, 3.4 billion, so it, it could go up to 3.4 trillion because AI has a, a potential of 47 trillion by the year 2030. Um, so that's why it's on one of the ones on the top of my list. Um, when you look under the hood and analyze what the subnets are doing, you'll understand how big uh, BitTensor can get. Um, BitTensor is made up of 26 subnets, and we're going to go into that shortly. Um, so it's a decentralized AI solution, just like Bitcoin is a decentralized uh, solution to fi finance. Uh, BitTensor is, is a decentralized solution to artificial intelligence and it's where artificial intelligence meets crypto. Um, and even at a $3.2 billion market cap, the, the, the room it has potential for lots and lots of growth because it's, an, it's because the internal architecture of the coin is why, and I'm gonna go into why the internal architecture is gonna be responsible, in my opinion, for achieving lots of market cap growth in, in the next five years. Um, this could be the first project that properly combines AI with crypto, which, which would make it groundbreaking. Um, there's, there's AI projects out there, but they're, they don't have the use case that this one does, and I'm going to get into that very shortly. Um, it, it's also tackling very important problems in the AI space, which I, I'm about to discuss right now. So the, the, here's the problem with standard AI. Right now, AI is super centralized, but BitTensor has every intention of changing that. Um, companies like Microsoft, Apple, OpenAI, which is the company behind ChatGPT, and Google, they're, they're all siloed. And that means there is no collaboration of knowledge sharing going on between these companies. Um, it's all pretty much, you know, one for all, all for yourself, you know, whoever. It's all competition. There's really no sharing going on. Um, BitTensor has established a decentralized network of AI models with, with a blockchain system that aligns incentives for all participants. Any team or even a single AI researcher can monetize their model and let interested consumers pay for access to it. So whether you're a one person, um, a one man wonder, that's just a genius and, and open up your own AI company or you're a team of 50 or 500 people, you can get involved in this project. You can get on chain with, um, your company can get on chain with um, BitTensor. So um, this creates an ever expanding, the collaboration and, and, and see right now with centralized AI, there's no collaboration of, you know, going on or knowledge sharing. So BitTensor basically can monetize their model and let interested consumers pay for access to it. This, 
creates an ever expanding library of machine intelligence, which is ML learning. Okay. And this ML, this ML library will grow as the network grows. So right now they have 26 um, companies on chain with, with BitTensor. And as time grows, there's eventually going to be 50, then a hundred, then 500, then a thousand, then maybe even, you know, thousands down the road. So as this grows, the price of the coin will grow, of course, because in, in, the, and, 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 and the network will grow. Okay, so Bentester team is working really hard to make all this happen. Their recent subnets upgrade will change the entire game. And that's what I'm about to discuss right now. And this should crown Bittensor, is, as far as cryptos are concerned, is the king of crypto AIs. Um, there's, I, I'm sorry, when I said uh, 26 subnets, I meant to say there are 32 subnets. So I apologize for that. I said that earlier, I was wrong. There are 32 subnets, which are uh, programs or companies that are operating within the BitTensor ecosystem. All these um, subnets are AI Pacific platform uh, platforms focusing on one Pacific part of AI. For example, there might be a subnet, uh, there is a subnet actually for improving language models uh, through fine tuning. Um, there's another subnet that specializes in image generation. And then there's another subnet that does text generation and prompting like chat GBT. Um, there's more and more AI use cases being added and competing for these subniches every day. Any one of these subnets potentially could change the world and they're part of BitTensor. Um, there's only 32 subnets now, but in the future there will be more like I mentioned earlier. Um, there could be hundreds, maybe even thousands of different AI companies that will use this platform. Um, once these subnets become active, BitTensor, I believe, will become unstoppable. This is actually an early company, and I'm going to get more into that. Uh, this is the main reason why a 100x or $3.4 trillion market cap is very easy to understand with this project because of the fact that it combines many other AI companies, which I eventually believe some bigger ones will come in in the future over the next four or five years and, and just turn this thing into a beast. So... I'm going to tell you what I think is fascinating about this project. Uh, what's fascinating about BitTensor is that any subnet can communicate their ML breakthrough to all the other subnets. So they're they're all they can all collaborate and, and make each other smarter just by proxy, just because they're both using this. You know, they're both using the um, BitTensor ecosystem together. Um, for example, the image operation subnet could learn from the text generation and prompting subnet and vice versa. Text generation and prompting would be like a chat GPT. Um, subnet 100 can communicate with subnet 37 and all the um, subnets are getting smarter together. So it's not, you're not just restricted from, if you're a subnet, you're just not operating alone. You're, you, you have the power to learn from all the other subnets and improve your own subnet. Um, so once all these subnets are working together, this project will become I believe will become too good to fail. That's just my opinion. Other companies are going to be fighting to be part of this ecosystem. Um, another less known subnet is called the Tioshi, you know, for instead, you know, the Tao coin for Bitsen, Tensor TAO, this, it's called the TAOSHI Toshi IA prediction model. Um, this is another way BitTensor will change the game. Right now it focuses on Bitcoin price forecasting but it's also um, used for AI for gambling purposes. I mean, you can create a, you know, you can create a casino and, and have it AI powered, and that's what um, one subnet is doing, uh, or this subnet is doing. It could also, well, it's not doing it now, but it has the ability to do it. I don't think it's act they're actively pursuing that right now, but it has the ability to do the, that type of stuff. It could also serve other narratives down the road. Um, right now, they reward Bitcoin miners who can. Uh, contribute predictive models for Bitcoin's intraday price movement up to eight hours ahead, which are validated and tested and rewarded with Tau tokens based specifically on performance. So when miners are, are mining either Tau or Bitcoin, um, they can get validated and get rewarded with Tau tokens, or especially if they're mining Bitcoin. So this one subnet fits perfect into the BitTensor ecosystem and gives this uh, coin tons of utility. And, and, and this is why I'm promoting it because I only promote uh, tokens that have lots of utility because if they don't serve a, solve a real world problem, I really don't want anything to do with it. Um, the AI predictive model will also work for crypto and stocks in the future. So 
this model will also be able to use AI to give you better stock picks and, and maybe even crypto picks in the future, or, or like I said, estimate the price of what Bitcoin will be in the next couple days or whatever. Um, think of identifying potential stock tr trades, execute trading bots. Trading bots are also part of the deal. And all this made possible by uh, this one subnet alone. Okay, they, they also have a medical subnet on chain. Um, and what it does is it, 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 it's involved in the groundbreaking field of AI-driven uh, medical technology. And it will be able to look at images and x-rays and disease scans, MRIs, and use artificial intelligence to give you a more definitive answer versus speculation. Uh, this could help save lives all over the world, especially in remote countries like South Africa, where they don't have access to the level of technology we do. So their medical thing can actually save you know hundreds or thousands of tens of thousands of lives by bringing technology to remote areas of the world that they just don't have it right now, or, or certain information that can help solve solve medical problems. So they're they're also they also have a subnet that's involved in, in three dimensional content or three D content. One of the sub one of the sub uh, excuse me one of the sub nets of BitTensor is called 404 Mission and it specializes in 3D content. So you know think of movies, gaming, and entertainment. Um, the resources you would have to employ to build a movie or 3D video game would, would, would generally be massive. Uh, but the, four, the 404 Mission company will be able to accomplish this at a fraction um, of the cost. Video game creation won't be the same uh, old stuff. AI will allow you to play a different game each time on the same level, if that makes sense. What I'm saying is, you know, you probably have played Super Mario Brothers before or some of these other games, and, you know, you play a certain level and you know what to expect. You can almost do it with your eyes closed after playing it 50 times. You master the level. Well, this model will, will even though it's the same level in the same game, it'll give you a different output, and, and, and you won't have the same obstacles. You'll have to adapt to the different obstacles. So that's what they mean by that. And, um, you know, the, like the old games, you'd be the same thing over and over. Well, with AI into the picture, in, in, in 404 Mission, they can make games that are different on, on the same level. So that's pretty cool, you know. So it, it just gives it, more, gives it more juice. Now, this is a competition-based system. The, these companies can't, these AI co companies can't just come on chain with BinTensor and do nothing. They have to prove themselves, you know, through performance. Um, there's competition for each of these uh, BitTensor subnets. So if you're a subnet and you're not generating positive activity to the Tau ecosystem, uh, you can get booted and a more serious company can secure your spot. So, so you can't just, you know, it's like a U.S. politician. You can't just sit in office, you know, term after term after term and not produce much. And you could still just sit there and get paid. It doesn't work like that. And, you know, this is a more pure capitalistic type of uh, ecosystem where if you're not producing, a company's going to take your place that is producing. Um, and so basically, um, let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's true capitalism at its finest. And a company just came on chain not too long ago with... Um, BitTensor called AIT Protocol. Let's go into that. Another company called AIT Protocol has just been uh, awarded a BitTensor subnet. Their purpose is to help small business startups overcome big data challenges. So this company is kind of a, a champion for small businesses. They have, a they have a train to earn model where people can give their data to a machine learning algorithm and earn Tau tokens by doing this. So small guys can, can earn Tau tokens by give, giving them their data in the and, and this company collects this data and you know it just contributes to the furtherance of whatever this company's mission is um like i said it's its purpose is to train small business uh to overcome big challenges so as more people give ait protocol their information it gets smarter and smarter and kind of knows how to solve the problems of small businesses more because they're collecting all this data through ml um, a lot of subnets within the BitTensor ecosystem use Tau and don't have their own coins. So AIT Protocol is the world's first data infrastructure, and they are listed on CoinMarketCap. They're, 
most of the companies on uh, Bintense, or I think just about all the subnets right now, don't have a coin. They're just independent companies. This is actually a crypto that has its own you know, coin and market cap and everything else. Um, their goal is to incentivize 5% of the um, BitTensor ecosystem. That's their goal. And they have a $52 million valuation, and they do almost $1 million a day in trading volume. So these are the kind of companies that are on their subnets. They still have a ton of room to grow. Trust me when I say they're a very baby company right now. Um, Bit, BitTensor arguably has the most passionate or, or community in, in crypto right now. Um, they are they are just a bunch of they're just a very tight group that all supports each other. Um, the coin even got Brian's Brian Armstrong from Coinbase. It, it got his attention, and he's the director of or CEO of Coinbase, and um, he's actually very bullish on this coin. So you know this is a someone that runs a multi multi billion dollar company, and he's bullish on this coin. They haven't listed it yet, which is I don't know why, but I really believe that later this year, Bit. Uh, BitTensor will be listed on Coinbase. I'm going to go into how to buy it a little later, but I'll just let you know. So the tokenomics, there's a lot to like about their tokenomics as well. Um, they basically have a supply of 21 million coins, just like uh, Bitcoin has a supply of 21 million coins. Um, and the Tau tokens, um, that's all the Tau tokens that will ever be for sale is 21 million. There's a, there's a cap on that. They also have a halving cycle every four years, just like Bitcoin. So every four years, um, the mining supply gets cut in half, just like Bitcoin. So it's basically a block is mined every 12 seconds on their chain, and miners will receive one Tau token for each block that they mine. Um, right now, 1,200 uh, Tau tokens can be mined per day until the next halving. So we're at 1,200 right now. Bitcoin's going to be down to 250 pretty soon, but they're, they're at 1,200 right now. Um, from an investment perspective, I like the fact that the tokenomics uh, follow a similar hard money approach like Bitcoin. So they both they follow the same standards. It's it's a deflationary currency, um, and you can't you know you can't just say they don't, they're not just going to come and say oh I'm going to release another you know 10 million tokens. They're not going to do that. It's it's solid at 21 million and that's it. So over the years, there's going to be more of a supply scarcity to this coin um, due to deflation, just like Bitcoin. Uh, the the owners also did a fair launch for TAO. There was no pre-mining, um, so there you know miners didn't you know stock up on a bunch for themselves before the launch. And the venture capitalists who uh, got the tokens either participated in the network or purchased it after it was already launched. So the token, as far as token utility, uh, the token is used to access. It has great token utility. The token is used to access all all AI models. It's also used for governance and staking. Um, it, it serves as an in, incentive mechanism for miners and validators to participate in the network and contribute their AI models in exchange uh, to enhance a uh, big, big tensor ecosystem. So at about $500 a coin, in my opinion, is a joke compared to what this coin could be worth um, once the network grows. <coughs> I'm not going to say that, you know, right now we have, you know, 32 um, subnets and, and when it gets to, you know, a thousand subnets, it's going to X that much. It could, but it could be close. Um, it also depends on how many of these subnets fail because I don't think all the subnets are, are going to make it. I think there, some are going to be fledgling AI projects that just kind of fall off the grid after a while. But there will be a percentage of that make it and there's going to be some big beasts that come on that are going to make it as well and those are what's going to drive the price of the coin way up um at least that's what i'm speculating um now polychain capital digital currency group gsr crypto trading firm and first mark are all supporters of this coin they are either validators for the network and or market makers they're one or the other um, these players give legitimacy to this budding project so BitTens here cons. I'm gonna go, so I get, went over to you most of the pros of the project and um, how use case over time could, could just explode the price of this coin, but I'm gonna go over some cons now. And here's a few things to be aware of. Con number one, BitTensor is very hard to understand. That's the first hurdle because it's such an advanced AI company integrating AI with crypto. A lot of people just don't get how it works. I'm, I'm making this video to hope you understand it a little better. Um, I understand it now, at least as an investor, but all the crazy technical details under the hood, of course, I don't think I'll, I don't know if I'll ever understand it, but I wanna understand it as an investor and I wanna 
help you understand it as, at least as an investor so you know what's going on or what you're putting your money into. Um, not that this is financial advice, but I'm just saying if you decide to do it, then you, you have the information you need. I feel this video does a good job at helping people with this. It's the hardest video I've had to make trying to explain the complexity of this project in layman's terms because it is a very technical project, so I tried to dumb it down to where you can understand it a little easier. Um, the hard, the con number two, the hard to understand narrative, narrative could possibly slow down the adoption of this coin. Um, I don't think that'll be permanent though, because I think I think in two or three years people will really start catching on, and, and these new guys, these millennials and Gen Zers that have 30 years to do their career, they're going to dig hard and deep to find out what it really is. Even if they don't understand it on the technical level, they'll understand it on the investment level. That's my opinion. Um, now, con number three. Um, there's another misunderstanding of BitTensor that it can do AI training. Um, it can only do inference or translation, like ChatGPT does translation and inference. It doesn't do training. Um, this means when you ask it a question, it gives you a response. Some of the stuff is amazing, like, like ChatGPT can generate code for a store. I mean, there's some amazing things it could do, but it doesn't actually do training. Um, training is an entirely different beast and they are far away from filling this narrative at this time. That means someday, four, five, seven years down the road, they might be able to do it. But right now, they can't. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. Um, no, con number four, Tau tokens aren't directly tied to intelligence. See, Tau tokens are rewarded for miners for doing certain amounts of work. Um, they're in, in every, every one that comes, every subnet that enters the, um, Bent tensor ecosystem will has the ability to um, you know grow their net worth, which will increase the value of the coin, and that's how coins increase in value. It's it's they're not directly t tied to intelligence, but you know obviously intelligent companies will drive the value of the coin up, but they're not directly tied. That's the only point I was trying to make. Um, so you know, you know so some of the subnets are created at regular intervals from a miner uh, at about twelve. Uh, seconds per token so miners mine these every 12 seconds they can earn a coin um if if um they have strong mining equipment i suppose um i'm not really a miner so i can't really tell you all the details on that um bit tensor has open and closed source models as subnets so that's con number five it's not completely open source that's my point i'm trying to make is there's some of these are closed systems and some are open systems that allow other people to come in and actually develop this, you know, regular people to come develop the system along with the company. Um, BitTensor does prefer open source companies. They would rather have them come on, but they're totally cool with closed source companies if they're solid and they're on a tight ship. So they have both. And it, so it's not a completely open source project. I just want to let you know that. Um, so what else do I have to say about that? Yeah. That's about it on that. And this uh, con number six, they they're they're a new project, and they launched in 2019 by, I think it's called Ala Shabana and Jacob Steves. I tried to say that I tried to pronounce that before I made this video, but it's Al Ala Shabana and Jacob Steves. Um, and, and right now that this project doesn't have a, a huge track record yet. They're still developing. They're still which on the upside it makes it a great time to buy on the downside it's not proven enough to you know know for sure you're you know you're you're it's gonna 100 percent you know this this company is gonna 100 percent you know win or not or it's gonna stay around um but there's i i i dug to see if any discrepancies or problems with the company i, I didn't really find any but you're always taking a chance with a new company that it could fail. Um, but this company seems to really be on the ball. And, and what I wanted to say is we'll have to see how the team performs in the next couple of years and, and the cycle. And, and you'll definitely know something in the next two to four years because you're going to get constant updates from the company. You can research them and they're going to they're going to be on all kinds of media because it is a multi-billion dollar company already. Um, so the BitTensor has a system that they're just about to launch called the MOE system or the Mixture of Expert system. Um, this, this actually means multiple miners with similar answers can all get rewarded um, with the same amount of tokens, but this feature hasn't been released yet. 
It should be released later in 2024. So keep your eye out for that. Um, it hasn't been released yet, and, and, and that'll further enhance the ecosystem because it'll encourage more people to mine the, the coin. Um, so I'm going to talk about my own BitTensor position. Um, right now, I own 4.3 Tau coins, which is about $2,100 in fiat. Um, I plan on upping my position to $3,000, which means I'm going, quote, heavy on this on this play. Um, my, I also plan on DCAing until I get about 10 tokens. I have lots of other plays, so this should be sufficient for this play. I mean, I'm not trying to go 100% in this play, but I am trying to go pretty heavy in this play because I think it's something that could... Um, produce a, a serious uh, output for me in the future. Um, so that's just my decision. I'm not telling you to do that, but that's that's the way I'm going with this. So I'm gonna teach you how to buy BitTensor. Um, the easiest way to buy BitTensor for me was as follows. Number one, download MetaMask, which is free, and pin it to your browser window. Uh, make sure you save your password and your 12 word keyword phrase into a text file on a USB drive that you remove from your computer when you're not operating it. Um, if you visit luckyinvestor.com and look at my free crypto course, I go into how to create a very strong password. It's make your password really, really strong and long. I can't emphasize that enough because I, that or your keyword phrase is the only way to get into your account and, and never ever save your keyword, your 12 word keyword phrase or your password to your hard drive because if somebody installs malware or whatever, they can have access to that. And then, then if they, if somebody by chance gets that by accident, they can they can hack right into your MetaMask account and, and, and steal all your coins. Um, so so keep it on a USB drive, back it up to two USB drives in case one gets lost in the toilet or you drop it in your frying pan when you're cooking your bacon. You're you know you have one more. You don't want to you don't want to you always want two backups in your USB. Um, you know, and if you have a trusted partner i mean you got to trust them with your life and it's probably better if you have someone like that, that that knows nothing about crypto so they wouldn't even know what to do with it you know i'm not saying you should do this or not but just an idea would be to possibly mail them a copy uh, of your usb so you have a backup in case your house burns down or something so you have about one extra copy somewhere but you would you would have to evaluate that on a case-by-case -case basis and be really really sure this guy doesn't know anyone in crypto and wouldn't screw you over you would have to be someone like you're, you're, literally, your your close family or something like that. So, that if you lose your twelve word key phrase, your crypto is gone forever. There's no way to recover your you know access to your wallet or your password. There's no way to recover access to your wallet. Um, so I advise not trusting your memory. Um, you can't lose any of these. Don't lose your password and don't use your lose your um, your twelve word phrase. Um, if you have no idea how to install MetaMask, there's tons of free videos on YouTube. Uh, that'll teach you how to do this. So it's it's no problem to learn how to do this. It was really easy. I watched after a couple videos and it wasn't hard at all. You just follow the instructions. Um, so the number number two is you want to fed you want to fund your MetaMask account with Ethereum. That's how I did it. Um, I I had the best luck getting my Ethereum using a company called MoonPay. I had terrible experiences with Robinhood Crypto. Um, they just sent me for a loop, you know, I just kept going in a loop, I didn't get anywhere. Stripe or Link, okay, um, Sardine and Transact, they all kind of screwed me over when I tried to get money from them. Um, I'd go through the incomplete process, and in the front of my back of my driver's license, took a selfie, did everything they told me to do, and for whatever reason, they couldn't approve me, and the customer support was terrible. Um, it was worse than terrible, so MoonPay I had a lot of success with, so keep that in mind to save you a lot of stress. Um, Okay, at least that, okay, so so that's basically it, yeah. Um, number three, I use Uniswap to purchase what they call WTAL. It's it's called Rat Tau. Um, make sure when you go to Uniswap and you do your swap, on the top you want to choose Ethereum. This is after, you got to connect your wallet to Uniswap. That's how it works. You launch Uniswap, you connect your wallet, your MetaMask wallet, and then you... Um, want to search WTAL or wrap towel there now there's a few different options on there and, and, and they're deceptive and for whatever reason it's just there's probably just scammers wanting you to connect and send your coins there instead of um, you know to for wrap towel so just make sure when you do the swap on the bottom where, it, where you select your your two token make sure it says WTAL 
WTAO wrapped and then make sure it says wrap towel because there's another one that doesn't say wrap towel it says something really similar but it it's deceptive in my opinion it's deceptive so make sure you do that because it's very important um, so there are also plenty of tutorials that teach you how to connect your MetaMask wallet to Uniswap and how to properly swap tokens. So once you get through that process and, and you get your wrap towel, because wrap towel is no different than towel. It, you're, it's, it, your coin's still going to appreciate at the market rate of, of towel, basically. And the one last thing you want to do is you want to import the towel token into your MetaMask so you can see it. You won't see the balance in fiat, but you'll see the number of coins under it. And you could just go to coin market cap and times that by whatever the price is and and, and you'll get you, you you'll know the value of, of how much you have in fiat so uh let me give you the conclusion on the coin okay we're almost there the ai industry is supposed to be a 47 trillion dollar industry by 2030 and this coin is on the forefront of this technology in the crypto space and as long as they don't screw things up in the administration they don't have a fallout between the co-owners or whatever this coin has a really good chance of making it and it could be the big daddy of crypto um, in, in, in the AI, of AI cryptos and, you know, period. I mean, it could be the big daddy because all the companies are going to be under this one. This isn't just another play. I mean, it's the play if it works out. Um, so at under $500 a, a coin, I believe it's extremely an extremely undervalued uh, crypto. And I feel that uh, BitTensor like I said before, it's going to be the big daddy of AI on the blockchain going forward. Um, now, by 2030, I mean, this might sound ridiculous right now, but if you've had any idea how, how much cryptos can appreciate in a bull run and you have kind of a lot of I, I, I haven't really like studied cryptos too much. I was kind of out of the space for a while. I started in 2018 and I bought a Bitcoin for thirty six hundred dollars and I was lucky because I still have it. But other than that. I, I put a lot of money into it since November and I'm in the space again and, and this time I'm really serious not just because of the bull because I think crypto is just fascinating and I think it'll change anyone's life but long, but long story short I don't think a $50,000 bit tensor coin coin is far fetched by in five years say by 2030 um, that's about 100x from what it is now and the reason I think that is because I mean look at Bitcoin you know and and, and you know, there's really not a lot of bashers of BitTensor like there are some projects. I think there, there are tons of people bash Bitcoin when it was, you know, forty, fifty, hundred dollars, two thousand per coin. They thought it was overpriced, and look at it now. You know, it's the same thing with this. You know, that's why I think it deserves, in my opinion, it deserves a small stake, and that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so this is kind of the change the crypto and AI world type of token. It's and these are all the four coins I've discussed for so far. I discussed Chainlink, I discussed Quant, I discussed um, BitTensor, and I discussed Ethereum. And we all know about Bitcoin. Uh, um, but those are the four I mainly discussed. And I believe if you had an even split of all these in your portfolio, you would be set very well for the the, the bull run, but not totally set up because I have four more coins I'm going to discuss in the near future. Um, so. You know, and like I said before, when Big Bit Tensor gets to 100 subnets, a thousand, or even 5,000 subnets in the future, it's very possible. Um, so I think you get the picture on that, or how it can go up. Um, it's going to replace a ton of unskilled jobs in the next decade. I, AI in general, not just AI cryptos, but AI in general is going to re re replace a ton of unskilled jobs in the next decade. And maybe even some skilled jobs, probably not as many as unskilled jobs, but it's going to replace a lot. So now I believe is a good time to jump on the bandwagon and, and profit from this change currently happening in the financial landscape. Um, so I, that's about it for this token. I just want to say if you like this video, uh, please subscribe and um, give you know click the notification bell at the top so you can get other videos that I create like this. Um, automatically because uh, YouTube will send you automatically and um, I promise not to promote a coin that I don't have any skin in the game myself so this is only four coins and I have real skin in the game for all these um, I'm in the business of changing lives one at a time each video promotes my personal crypto journey so I'm only I'm, I'm offering you the opportunity to go on the crypto journey with me to become 
either a mid six figure stacker or a millionaire. Um, hopefully at least a mid six figure, there's nothing wrong with that. Even a mid five figure stacker, if you just have a tiny little bit of money, I mean, that's better than nothing, right? It pays off bills. The average American is $101,000 in debt. So even if you just DCA three, 500 a month, you're doing good. You're doing better than most people. You know, so so don't look at that as a bad thing. I support the the underdog. I mean, I was an underdog most of my life. I'm, I'm a retired veteran with a nice little pension now, and I can DCA fifty dollars a day into crypto. But it wasn't always like that. I mean, be, before this year, it wasn't even like that. So I didn't DCA throughout the entire crypto winter. I mean, I I mean, if I had a, I would have already probably been a millionaire, looking to make fifteen twenty million in the next cycle. But it didn't happen that way, and I don't care. I'm just, so my job right now is to change your life and help you take the journey I'm taking and hopefully get you where you want to be. Um, some of you people watching this I, are a lot more technically smarter than me. I'm sure I have engineers and people like that listening to my video, and that's great. But as an investor, I want you to take the journey with me and let's get somewhere with this cycle together because I'd like to be responsible for changing some lives at least. Um, so... Anyway, so my dream is to become a crypto millionaire, like you already know. I, I, I hope to achieve that by the end of 2025. That's my goal. If it happens sooner, great, but I'm not holding my breath on that. I'll just keep working hard and, you know, doing what I can. Um, so anyway, so if you like this video, also feel free to leave a comment. Uh, any comment that you make and like would, would help a lot. And, and your comments always generate interesting dialogue. Um, so I have four more videos, like I mentioned before, coming out after this that I think are going to be a real positive catalyst to the 2024 20, bull run and have a pride, have a, uh, have, this could be the last chance we have, um, to really, you know, make a lot of money with crypto. Um, and, and, and these four coins that I'm going to tell you over the next week and a half or two, it's, it's just after the halving, but it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be too late. I mean, it, you should have at least a, a few months to DCA into these and, and still benefit big time but um, or you might not want to you might want to just go for a few it's up to you but um, I'm gonna I'm ready to announce these so uh, please stay tuned and I'll be in touch soon have an incredible day and bye for now I'll be in touch thank you